Well, good morning, children. This is Miss Fury and her cat, Daniel. Uh, pets are never too far behind when I'm working from home. Um, I hope that you are having a wonderful morning or afternoon. And today we're going to learn how to sound out words. And when we're sounding out words, what that means is we are learning how to write words we don't already know how to spell because it's not on our word wall or we can't find it easily. So instead of asking mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, auntie, uncle, brother, sister, whoever is in your house, how to spell out a word, I'm going to show you how to sound out words on your own. And all you need to know are the letters of the alphabet and the sounds that they make. And if you also don't know all of the sounds or you can't remember off the, um, off the top of your head, what you can use is an alphabet chart to go back and review how to sound out those letter sounds. So let's work on a word today. The word we're going to practice learning how to spell today is the word dinosaur. And I think Daniel is leaving here because I think he was hoping that today we learn how to spell the word Daniel, his name, so that we could write him letters. Silly little goose. Remember, Miss Fury's uh, pets at home like to pretend like they're in school and like to be the students and they're used to getting all the attention. Silly, silly little Daniel. Nope, today we're going to learn how to spell the word dinosaur and I call these words wonder words because we're wondering how do we spell these words and sometimes we come across them in our writing and we're just not sure so let's start with the learning target today oh I guess he decided he wants to learn how to spell the word dinosaur too we'll see so when I go like this it's my turn when I go like this you repeat after me I'm learning to sound out words. And remember, when we're sounding out words, what we're going to do is just focus on the sounds and figure out how do we spell that wonder word. So the word today that we're going to practice sounding out is the word dinosaur. Dinosaur is a word that I know that a lot of uh, kids like to learn how to spell these days because they might be learning about it in science or even social studies. And I know that we've learned a little bit about dinosaurs in this series class and we learned about archaeology. So I thought dinosaur would be a really fun word for us to learn how to spell today. And it looks like we've piqued Daniel's interest, even though we're not learning how to spell his name today. So let's practice from the very beginning. When we're learning how to sound out a word, the first thing we're going to do is count the sounds we hear in the word. We're not going to count the syllables or the beats. We're going to count the sounds that our mouth is making, which means the first thing we do is we chunk it up, then we say it out slowly, and then we go back and read it as we're writing. So the first thing we're going to do is chunk up the sounds and count those sounds in the word. So get your fingers ready and your mouth ready. Here we go. D, I, N, O, S, R. Okay, let's do it again. D, I, N, O, S, R. How many sounds is that, Daniel? Hmm, he's not sure. Let's try it again. D, I, N, O, S, E, R. It's a really big word. So if you have trouble chunking it, sometimes it helps if you slow your mouth down first and then chunk it. Dinosaur. Okay, and then chunk it. So D, I, N, O, S, E, R. How many sounds? Six, five and one make six, five, six. So we're going to start by writing six lines. Now I can write these lines big because we're not writing a sentence today. We're just learning how to sound out a word. If you were going to write it 
in a sentence, you might want to put it on a scratch piece of paper or on a writing board like this before you put it on your paper, then that way all you have to do is copy it. So today I'm going to write my lines pretty big. So six lines and they're going to be right next to each other. We don't have spaces between our letters and our um, that we're sounding out, okay, because we only have spaces between our words. Let's try it. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Let's start at the beginning now. We've chunked it up. We know that there are only six letters that we heard or six sounds and letters make sounds, words make meaning. Dinosaur is a noun, so it tells us it's a type of animal. And then the letters just make the sounds inside the word. Remember the lines are next to each other because there's no spaces between word or spaces between our letters. There's only spaces between our words. So Let's start at the very beginning. What we're going to do is put our finger underneath that first line right here and sound it out. D. Look at that. Super simple. What letter makes the D sound? D, D, D. D. Magic C is bump up higher, back down and bump. D. Now we're going to go back and reread it for the next sound. D. I. N. I. What letter makes the I sound? I. Very easy. D. I. Let's go back. D. I. N. 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 Little line down, swim up to the top and hump. Okay. D. I. N. O. Dino. O. 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 Another letter that says its name. That means it's a vowel. D I N O S S S S. Notice how I'm going back and rereading with my finger for every single letter sound. That will make sure that I'm on track with sounding out my word. D I N O S R R R R R. Little line down, up to the top. Fish hook. Okay. D I N O S E R. Good. Now, if we were reading the word, we'd want to blend those sounds together. So now we want to make sure that our writing makes sense. So we've already written it the writing way, our wonder word. Now we're going to read it to make sure that it makes sense. Okay. Let's blend those sounds together. That means we say it nice and slowly. D I N O S E R. Dinosaur. 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 Does it make sense? Did we include all the sounds we heard? We did. So guess what? You just learned how to write a wonder word, dinosaur. And what we did is we first chunked up the word. Okay, we chopped it up. Okay, we counted out the sounds and wrote the lines. What? And then we wrote down the letters and the sounds that each of those letters made inside the word, going back and making sure we used our fingers as we pointed and read each sound. So let's go back and reread uh, re our learning target. I'm learning to sound out words. Okay, now your job right now is to go find a piece of scratch paper, a whiteboard and marker, or a crayon with some extra coloring paper and see if you can sound out a wonder word and then go back and follow these steps. Again, step number one is to chunk it up or chop it up. Count the sounds in the word. Okay, then write down the sounds that you hear. I hope that you have a wonderful afternoon, children, and I will see you soon.